Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. In this video, we will do two examples of conjugate B method, both of cantilever beam. One is subjected to a UDL loading W unit per meter and another is a point load at the tip. So let's draw the conjugate beam of this cantilever beam. As per the theory, if there is a fixed support at the real beam, it will be converted to free support and the free support will be fixed. So a, conjug uh, a cantilever beam will be also a cantilever beam but a fixed end will be free and the free end will be fixed. Similarly, uh, now draw the M by EI diagram. You see this loading is downward so the moment is hogging moment so the M by EI diagram will be negative. <coughs> so a, a negative M by EI diagram so you have to apply the load upward. So just draw the M by EI diagram for this beam it will be uh, parabolic in shape negative value and this value will be W L square by 2 E I and for this it will be linear negative it will be just P L by I you see the cantilever beam the deflected shape is like this so the slope is zero here and there is a slope here slope this is the slope theta b you have to calculate this and the deflection here delta b it is the maximum deflection here the deflection is uh, also zero now calculate the slope the slope at B is nothing but the shear force at B so the shear force at this position is nothing but the total load so you have to calculate the area of this total load that will be the reaction at this B and it will be equal to the slope. So calculate theta B is equal to the area of this parabola one third base is L and height is W L square by 2 E I so W L cube by 6 E I and here it will be half base into height P L square by 2 E I now calculate the deflection at B deflection at A is 0 you see uh, the cantilever beam the load is applied the moment at the tip is always zero so the deflection at A is zero the deflection at B is the moment at B just calculate the moment of this loading here 
so this is the CG the CG distance is L by 4 and this is 3L by 4 and in this case it is L by 3 and this is 12 by 3 so calculate the moment of this loading the area one third L will square by 2 EI this is the load into the CG distance 3L by 4 so it comes W L to the power 4 by 8 EI it is a deflection downwards and in this case delta B is equal to area of this triangle that is equals to half L PL by EI and the CG distance is two third L. So it comes PL cube by three EI downwards. So uh, we have calculated the slope and deflection of this cantilever beam. Those who have not seen the previous videos and previous examples of conjugate beam method and also area moment method, just watch the video. In the next video, we'll uh, talk about another method that is slope deflection method. So, for this, stay tuned. Those who have not yet subscribed my channel, just hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon beside it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Happy learning.